What's happening guys? Uh, today we are going to be looking at the new Micromax Easy Mail uh, device. This is also known as the Micromax X78. Uh, this comes with Easy Mail, Push Email and it almost looks identical to a Blackberry Torch with the optical trackpad and all that and a slider keyboard. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the device and then we'll take a look at it. So you have the user guide on the top along with the warranty certificate which is over here. Oh, it's kind of surprising. I thought they sent in the white color but this is the titanium color. So that's the device. I'm going to look at that in just a minute. You have really nice packaging, soft touch holder for uh, the phone. You have a standard Micromax hands-free kit along with push button and microphone inline, a 3.5 mm headphone jack. Go ahead and replace these with better earphones. You can't use them a lot because they don't sound that great. You also have a USB charger, so a standard AC pin to USB charger. And you have a USB to micro USB data cable for charging and data syncing. And you have the battery pack. The battery pack is a 950 milliamp hour battery pack and it seems a little less. So we'll uh, look at that when we are done reviewing the device. Let's go ahead and pack everything up and then take a look at the device itself. Okay, itself on the front here is the earpiece. You have the X78 banding, plastic protection. Get rid of that. That's kind of tough. Anyway, so you have a 2.8 inch uh, display which is over here. The resolution of the display is 40 by 320 pixels, a resistive touchscreen display. So you have touch as well as type on this phone. You, of course, have the send and end call buttons, and you have an optical trackpad which is over here. So that's great. You can slide out to reveal the full keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is a Nokia style keyboard and if you've been using Nokia devices you'll find this keyboard easy to use. Uh, the buttons are raised but they are not separate but once you get used to them they should be really easy to use. They are tactile and they produce the clicking noise which sounds really good. On the bottom of the slider over here is the microphone and uh, closing the device on the right hand side is a button to release the back cover is the button to release the back cover on the top here is the door which hides the micro usb charging as well as data syncing seems to be practically impossible to open up Okay, so you'll need a knife to open up the port, but anyway, here's your micro USB charging as well as data syncing port and a 3.5mm jack for your headphones and hands-free kit. Your volume rock is on the left and the second button to open the back cover is on the right. Uh, you also have a lanyard connection point at the bottom right of the device. You also have a 32 megapixel camera with LED flash and a speakerphone which is right next to the camera. You also have nice uh, accents to the device by adding these rubber tips and these edges the device looks good and uh, pull out the back cover you will see the dual sim card slot supports up to 8 gigabyte uh, micro sd cards and you have your sim card slots over here let's go ahead and power on the device and see if it powers on without me putting in a sim card so the battery on this device is really low uh, but the slider mechanism seems good I'm just going to try and get a cable for power supply. So now we're going to try to power it on with the cable attached so that I can give you guys a quick demo of uh, the device. Like I said, the slider mechanism seems really nice and solid. I don't know how long it will last, but it seems pretty good. You can tap the button to unlock the device. Uh, this is your main home screen and you have seven home screens over here, which are all different home screens with widgets on them to really customize the feature. Coming into the rightmost screen, you'll see that in the settings panel, you get Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. And you can get dual SIM active reception. So this is a dual SIM active phone. You have your call logs in the seventh panel, uh, messaging in the sixth panel, your music player in the fifth panel. Uh, you have a quick Sony Ericsson Timescape style uh, phone dialer 
or a quick dialer or a favorites dialer on the fourth panel. You have the photo gallery on the third panel. You can also jump to images, video and all of that at the bottom once you do populate it. And of course you have your apps which can be customized by tapping on this plus icon and adding an app of your own. Uh, so that's great. So you have calendar, alarm, FM, radio, camera. These things come standard. And this is your main screen. If you tap on the bottom left, you can also get this screen changer layout. Again, this is resistive touch screen, but it's fairly responsive. Jumping into the phone dialer, this is your phone dialer. You can choose SIM 1 or SIM 2 and dialer number. You also have the phone book, which is over here. You have the home button, which brings out all the applic, which is quite strange. So the home button pulls out the applications. How do you get back to the home screen? Anyway, so in your full list of applications, you have world clock, calendar and tasks. Notes, converter and stopwatch. You also have a calculator. PC sync is obviously there. SDK is the browser. You have Bluetooth, voicemail and text reader. Again, dialer, phone book and call logs, all standard features, connectivity messages, Wi-Fi settings. Uh, My apps is uh, Java applications for Micromax. Uh, they also have a My apps application for Android devices, but this is not an Android phone. So you get My apps for Java applications. You get easy mail, you can configure push email with easy mail. This is only dedicated to Micromax phones. So they're trying to take a stab at all those who like to buy Blackberry devices for email. Uh, again, you have Oprah web browser, user profiles, alarm and uh, phone settings. You also have a media player, the camera application again, you can jump into the camera. It's a fairly decent 3.2 megapixel camera. It's not autofocus at all. Scene modes, um, timer, you also get zoom settings. Brightness settings, focus settings, panorama mode, and miscellaneous storage settings. All those things are there. You also have a sound recorder, and you have an FM radio which requires the earphones to be plugged in. File manager is also there. So there you go guys, this was a quick look at the device itself. The touch screen is fairly responsive. I'm gonna quickly go into messaging and try and compose a message. Um, let's see if there's a notes application somewhere. So the buttons are fairly tactile, they are close knit, so they'll take a bit of time to get used to, but once you do get used to them, they sh it shouldn't be any problem using uh, the keyboard at all. But uh, we'll be reviewing this device in depth and uh, testing the slider mechanism properly and uh, making sure that when you guys buy this device, you are fully satisfied if we recommend that you buy this device. So there you go guys, this is a quick look and uh, unboxing and quick look at the new Micromax X78 uh, instant push mail device. Uh, this comes with easy mail and uh, dual SIM cards, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a price of about 4,000 rupees, uh, touch screen and a bunch of widgets and customizations with eight home screens and a full list of applications. For more unboxing videos, reviews and tutorials, log on to iGAN.in. If you have any questions or queries regarding this product, you can log on to our forums at iGANforum.com. Post your questions over there. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter and on Google+. The links to those are at the end of this video or in the description below. Take out the time and rate this video, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate your feedback. Until I see you later, guys. Take care, I'll see you in another video.